Nutria was found by a, uh, an astute fur buyer. He actually received the pelt from a local trapper and recognized what it was. And he contacted the uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Wildlife Services Group, both, both federal government agencies, who followed up with a site visit and discovered, lo and behold, that there was a small nutria population at this location. Animals had been seen by a local landowner for a couple of years, I guess. He didn't know what they were, um, so they had been there for some time. But it wasn't until this fur buyer and, and getting this pelt from a trapper realized what, what he was seeing and uh, had it followed up uh, by the federal government. This happened in a water body of water near Marydale. Well, the nutria is, a, is an exotic species. Uh, it's native to South America. And in the 1930s and the 1940s, people in the United States started bringing them in thinking that they were going to be, be able to raise these animals uh, as a resource for, for fur. And uh, what they discovered was that uh, apparently the nutria, although they're very prolific in the wild and have a lot of young, uh, they don't reproduce very well at all in captivity. And so, so this business venture basically failed. And over time, either the pens that these animals were being kept in deteriorated and they escaped, or the people just physically turn them loose. The reason that we don't want them here is because they're very destructive to marshland vegetation. Uh, they eat the roots and the tubers in the, in the bottom of the marsh, uh, pull the plants out of the marsh. Basically, they denude the whole marsh and it just turns into an open body of water and mud flats. So then you've lost all of that value of that marsh for other wildlife. Primarily the um, U.S. Department of Agricultural Wildlife Services group. Uh, there has been a, uh, an effort, an ongoing effort since I believe 2002 on the Delmarva Peninsula to eradicate or try to eradicate the nutria from the peninsula. Uh, these efforts have been primarily in Maryland uh, and concentrated in the vicinity of Blackwater National Wildlife Refuge. As we get reports, we will turn that information over to uh, the USDA folks and the uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service folks, and we'll coordinate with that eradication team uh, to, to get the animals out of Delaware. I would advise anyone f in the public to contact the Denrick Division of Fish and Wildlife first, uh, and then we can uh, contact the appropriate uh, federal folks uh, and the eradication team uh, for them.